Hey guys, quickly before we get into the Emily and Friends episode, I want to announce that I have miniature merch. This is super exciting for me. I worked together with Dolls Day Shop on Instagram to make these adorable pieces. There's this delightful dolls t-shirt that says hashtag DD squad on the back. And because it's a little oversized, it can fit any Barbie body type and can be styled in many different ways. And then there's also this hashtag DD squad beanie, which is adorable and in a beautiful pink color. Anyways, guys, there's a limited amount of these, so make sure to go purchase them if you're interested on my Etsy shop, Delightful Dolls Shop. It'll also be linked in the description. And there is free shipping to everyone in the US and Canada. And I do still ship internationally, you just have to pay a little bit extra. Anyways, I hope you guys are just as excited about this as I am. And please do be sure to check out my shop because it would support me so much. And you also just get some adorable clothing pieces for your doll. Anyways, now we will get into the Emily and Friends episode. I'm moving back to Australia. Wait, what? I, uh, we might not get to see each other again. I'm, I'm sorry. What? 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 But what are you saying? Uh, I have to do this. And I'm doing this because I care for you. Okay? Patricia. Patricia's making you do this, isn't she? Isn't she? Emily. We can't let Patricia control our lives like this, Chase. We can't. We don't have much of a choice. Look at this whole situation and drama and everything is done to you already. It's put so much stress on you and your life has been affected by it so much. All because of me and my problems. This will be best for you. I'm doing this for you. Chase, if there's anything you could do for me, it would be to stay. I wouldn't want anything more in the world than to be with you, Emily. But I live tomorrow with Patricia. Which means I'll be bringing all of her problems with me and away from you. She'll leave you alone. Chase. You can live your life without all this chaos and confusion. You know this will be best for you. But, but... I just need you to know that I'm doing this because I care for you. If things were different, well, we shouldn't think about that anyways, I guess. I... I... I'm sorry, I need to head back. I told Patricia I was just going on a little walk so she wouldn't get too suspicious. She's so controlling. I hate her. So what? You're gonna date her now again? I don't have much of a choice. I'll worry about that when I get to Australia and away from here. Then at least those problems will be on the other side of the world. I'm really mad at you. You're too caring for me. You're too perfect. <sighs> I understand. I don't agree, but I understand. And I enjoyed the time we did spend together. As little as it might have been. Same here. Well, I guess I better get going. Patricia, she, you know. Wait! Tomorrow, before you leave, can we meet one more time? Sure, I'll come over again at- No, this time at a different place. I'll send you the location. Maybe there around 10pm, okay? See you then. Bye. Bye. <sighs> Emily? Emily, when in the world are you still doing in bed at one in the afternoon? Go away, Alex. Excuse me? This is your mother speaking. Oh, uh, sorry, Mom. How late were you up last night for you to be this tired? Not too late, Mom. I just want to stay in bed a little bit longer. It's the weekend. Please? Well, alright, I guess. Are you okay, dear? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Well, I'm not sure if it has anything to do with that neighbor boy, Chase- Stop! Stop! Please don't say his name. Whoa, whoa. Okay then. 
well, you're certainly not okay, but it also doesn't look like you're in the mood to chat right now either. But if you need to talk, I'm always here, okay, dear? Thanks, mom. Now don't sleep for too much longer. No promises. <sighs> okay, Emily, go back to bed quickly before you start to think about him. Ugh! Well, now I'm thinking about him. Ugh. Okay, just focus on something else. Hmm. Donuts. <laughs> I love donuts. They're so tasty. Hmm. Okay, who am I kidding? There's no way I'll be able to fall back asleep. I can't get him out of my head. Maybe if I actually get up and do something, I can forget how Chase is leaving me forever. How I'll never see him again after tonight. I know he's doing it all for my own good. And once I get over him, my life will be easier. But it still hurts. A lot. Okay, no more moping around. Let's get some sunshine into this depressing room. I should have seen that coming. On second thought, sunshine's overrated. Uh. Chase sat in this chair once. What the heck am I doing? I need to distract myself. I know. A good book. That's what I need right now. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, I can't do this. It doesn't help that every book I own has romance in it. Forget that idea. Ah, <sighs> just what I needed. Some fresh air. <sighs> Such a lovely day. This is where Chase held my hands. Stop it. Stop it, Emily. Everywhere I go, everything I do, he is there. I can't escape him. I don't want to escape him. I just have to see him tonight. Just one more time. Okay, I sent him the location, and it's almost 9.45. It's time to go. And where do you think you're going, Missy? Alex, I didn't see you there. This is the third time in the last three days. Uh, so you heard him come over yesterday, too? Yeah, but at least that time you didn't watch Vampire Diaries on full volume. I said I was sorry about that. Why was he even over last night, and where are you going now? Alex, it's a really long story, and I'm listening. Okay, okay. You might want to sit down for this one. Wow, he must really care for you. To literally move back to Australia with Patricia, just to keep you safe and let you live your regular life? I know. I wish he wasn't so selfless sometimes. <sighs> I don't even know what to say to all that. Yeah, it's a lot to take in. So do you understand why I have to see him tonight? I need to see him before he leaves. I want to spend this last bit of time with him that I can. I understand, and I'm honestly just sorry for you. Like, I know I always joke around about your problems, but I know much you care for him, and I know it won't be easy for you. Wow, Alex. Thanks. For... caring? Oh, come on, I always care. I just usually have a different way of showing it. Yeah, it's different, all right. But no, thanks. It's nice to know I can talk to you about these things. Of course. Now go see Chase and stop wasting your time here with me. Right. Wait, Emily? Yeah? You owe me three now. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> He's not here yet. 
calm down, Emily. It's only a little past 10. I'm sure he'll show up. Maybe it's best if he doesn't show up. I can just remember the time Chase stood me up every time he comes to mind, and not all the other painfully amazing memories. No, no, that's not what I want. I do want him to show up. I want him to show up so bad. Please show up, Chase. I don't want it to end like this. Me, all alone on the spot where you're supposed to meet, but never did. <sighs> it won't. What? Oh, Chase. It won't end like that. Sorry, I'm late. I needed to wait for Patricia to leave. How how long were you waiting there for? Long enough to hear how desperate you were to see me. Hey, I was not desperate. Sure. Okay, maybe just a little. <laughs> I I was desperate too, to see you. I'm glad we're meeting up one more time. Me too. The view is beautiful. Yeah, the stars are just so bright tonight. Oh, we were talking about the stars. Don't do that, Chase. What? Be nice. Compliment me. It just makes it harder to let you go. Sorry, you're right. I'm really not making this easier, am I? Not really. But who am I kidding? I love your compliments, even if it's gonna hurt me later. Well, you are beautiful. A beautiful amazing person in general. And I know all this sucks, but once you can forget about me, you'll finally get the nice life you deserve. I don't want to. What? Forget about you. Me neither. You know you don't have to do this. Yeah, but I kind of do. I brought all these problems upon you when I entered your life, so it's only fair I get rid of them for you, even if it means exiting your life. <sighs> it almost feels dumb how much I'm going to miss you. I barely even know you, but it still hurts like I've known you for years. I know the feeling. This is a really nice view, though. I never knew about this place. Yeah, I haven't been here in a long time, but every now and then, it's just nice to stare out at all of those trillions of stars and planets and forget about everything else in the world for a little bit. Huh? Uh. What was that? I made an alarm for 12. I told myself I shouldn't be out any later than that. Probably a good idea. Well, considering we're neighbors, I'll walk you home. Sounds good. Goodbye, Chase. Goodbye, Emily. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Emily and Friends. The next episode is probably my favorite ever, so definitely be excited for that one. Don't forget to check out my Delightful Dolls merch because I'm just so excited about this and it just means so much if you guys checked it out. I'm really proud of how the items turned out. So yeah, once again, that'll be linked in the description. Let me know what you thought of this episode and comment below what you think is gonna happen next. Before we end today's video, the shout outs for today go to Tammy Vu, Arpita, and Dollistic. Thank you so, so much for supporting my channel. And remember, if you have a chance of getting a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell and comment down below with the hashtag DD Squad and you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe because it really helps on my channel and that way you'll know when the next Emily Friends episode comes out. Love you all and see you in the next one. Bye.